Hello there everybody and welcome to the fifth part I think of my how to build an advanced 8-bit computer inside Minecraft. Um, this video is long overdue, I realise that and I've had quite a few comments asking when's the next part going to be, when is it, when is it, when is it, and uh, yes here it is <laughs> pretty much. Um, I can't even remember what we did last video. Um, and it looks like to me we've got the adder and the two invert functions here. So I must have done the invert functions in the last video, I think. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get into this part. Oh yeah, one quick little thing before we begin. Um, thanks to J Gigantino31, I think his name is, um, for pointing out a little bug. Now before, in the previous video, I just bunged a leave on there for the carry in, and uh, when I turn that on, obviously it's not going to come through at the moment because the pistons are extended. But when I turn that on. It didn't reach this repeater, I don't think, or it didn't reach this repeater, it didn't, re didn't reach one of them. Uh, and that meant that it wasn't functioning properly. If you wanted to do subtraction with these higher bits, uh, you'd obviously get an error because the line wouldn't reach. Um, so I came up with a quick fix for this, and that was to make sure that this repeat, uh, this torch here, uh, uh, torch, what am I about? This piece of redstone here is powered directly by a repeater and um, so yeah basically you just bung a repeater going into there like that and that powers that but you only want since this should only affect the first uh, the first uh, the first second half adder so if you remember from the previous video this is like the second half adder uh, all these sec uh, the second like half adders of the full adder you only want it to affect the first bit so you don't need it to affect the second bit here so this is the only half adder, this one here, that wants to be affected, which means that if this wasn't here, this piece of redstone will would also for some reason that's what 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 why why is that not working? Okay, that was really weird. So yeah, uh, this piece of redstone that's a really weird glitch. Yeah, this piece of redstone would affect both of them and you don't want that so there are multiple ways you could do this you could like bung that on like that oop not there oop. and pack that on like that and that just makes sure wow what is wrong with these redstone updates why are these not updating that is really weird I'll look into that anyway yeah. so you need to place something there which directs the uh, directs this piece of redstone away from this torch so this doesn't turn off so yeah, I uh, I just added that in like that for simplicity. And uh, is it bit bugged again? Nope, that's okay. So now we have that. Now we can get rid of that. So yeah, thanks, G Gigantino31. I think your name is. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, thanks for pointing out the bug. That was really helpful and will definitely be used as it is a great fix. Okay, so now in this video, let's see what shall we do. Um. Okay, let's do the yeah, let's do the bypassing the adders function. And now I briefly touched upon this in the previous video and I will explain it fully once I've built it. But basically this allows you to do the logic gates. So at the moment this is purely arithmetic. No logic can be done. You can do adding and subtracting. Well, just about kind of. And yeah, you can do subtraction. And um it's pretty limited, but now when we add this on, you can do like and, XR, uh, or, loads of them, loads and loads and loads. So yeah, let's let's get into this. Let's build it. First of all, we want to. Oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Actually, I take that back. I think there's something else we need to do just before we do the bypass adders, and that is the cut carry because this will actually interfere with the other one if I don't build it first. So yeah, let's uh, let's do the cut carry and basically that does what it says on the tin. It makes it so that if a carry is generated in the first bit, so like this, you've got a 1 and a 1 and that produces a 2 because it's being carried over into the next bit. Uh, that will make it so that no carry is carried through. So effectively that will happen and no carry is generated. And that is used for the XR function for the logic case. So yeah, let's uh let's build that. And as I showed you just then, by placing a block there that affects that 
pretty much is all you need to do for the cut carry. So if we just stick a piston on that and give it a toggle, a lever, uh, ooh, voxel get, it's getting in my way. So hide it. There we go. So if you place a piston like that, and then do the rest of this, all of them, um, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's put one in here. And then we can stack it, I hope. Hopefully. Mm, yep, that looks okay. Let's. Hmm, I want to keep this as minimally high as possible, so um, as small as possible, lengthways. Heightways, sorry. So I'm going to have to do something a little annoying, which probably will end up having extra repeaters, but I'm going to have to do it like that so as not to add in extra height. And you'll see why in a moment. So we've got that. Ooh, pardon me. And that door was not meant to place there. Okay, so now we've got that, we can stack it. As always, our faithful stack. Nope, 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 nope. It took, it takes a bit of time getting used to this mouse. I, um, if I haven't gamed with it at all for a while, it gets rather tricky. Uh, let's see, okay, so there. Huh? What? What? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? I have used the wrong Minecraft. I have multiple Minecraft versions uh, with different mods installed, and this is my Voxelbox mod, not my single play commands mod one. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back when I have the right mods installed. Right then, I have now got the correct Minecraft GI installed, uh, and we are ready to rock and roll, I think. So yeah, let's uh, let's go back to where we were. <laughs> are you joking? Are you joking? Why? Why? Why is this not working? Pause one. Is that working? Pause one. Okay, pause one is working. That's okay. So I'll have to do it manually. That doesn't really matter though. Okay, so if by any chance your world that it is glitching like mine is, fear not, you can use the manual pause one uh, command and that will do it for you. And now we can do here yeah, pause do uh, and set the weather to clear while we're at it since we're firing off what? Oh silly silly thing. All the commands are different as well. Oop. Alright then. Time day since we're firing off commands like there's no tomorrow. And finally stack three. Whew. That was a bit uh, a bit excessive. Alright then, so this should have worked nicely. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so that is that done. That's our cut carry. So let's give you a quick demonstration. We have two and two coming through. We fire off our command, and as you can see, that is. Oh my days. I swear, everything, everything that happens is glitchy. Why is that producing an output? But why, but why, but why, but why, but why? Okay. I'm sure my Minecraft is hopelessly glitchy. Okay, I'll be right back with you. Right, so then after that minor uh, interference, I found the problem. Uh, and that being goddamn buds. Don't you just hate them? Um, <laughs> so yeah, with the 1.5 update coming up, uh, this really shouldn't be a problem, but for the time being, while we all still have to use 1.4.7, need to put a Peter... Nah, that's not going to work. Hmm. Basically what was happening was that this redstone here is powering this block, which means that that, power, that piston was being budded, and there was nothing to update it, so it was remaining down when 2 plus 2 was coming through and all the bad things were happening. Hmm. Actually, I think oh, I can do I can just place the transparent block. Oh, I've got them there. Alright, so here, as you can see, that's budded it again, and that's unbudded it all because of that there. So, as you can see, we need to place half slabs here, and that will hopefully sort out that little glitch. 
it's amazing the glitches you find when you're building stuff. Like I've built this ALU so many times before, but I've never come across these glitches. Okay, uh, that I think is that. Let's try again. All right, two plus two is coming through, which means four. Turn that off. Nothing comes through. Yeah. Let's just do another quick test. Well, I suppose that was what testing is for. Testing is for finding bugs. Alright, so now we've got 2 plus 2 coming through, which is 4, and 16 plus 16, which is coming through as uh, 32. Turn them off. Voila, nothing on the output. So that is user's cut carry. Uh, and that cut carry function is basically what happens when you want to do XR. So if you want to say, uh, I want to XR the first two bits. So we flick that on and we say, okay, XR. 1 is coming through. Um, so the inputs are different, sorry. So the one is going through, and then if we turn that off, the input's the same, so nothing is going through. We turn that one on, the inputs are different, so one comes through, and we turn both of them on, and nothing comes through because the inputs are the same. See, so yeah, that's how the XR works. If you don't know what an XR, if you don't, if you didn't know an XR works like that by now, I'm afraid you're doing something wrong. So yeah, so that's cut carry, but I also like to call it uh, XR. Hmm. So now we've done XR, uh, I'll carry on with the next function. And that is going to be set the carry line to 1, which effectively works as an invert out function. Uh, and since we can do invert out with setting the carry to 1, there's no need to add another XR in the end, which makes this really, really, really small. Because this is, this is as long as the ALU is going to be now. So yeah, let's let's get into it. And set carry one is very very basic. All you need to do. Pardon me. Whew, I apologise. Is to place like a torch under all of these, and that will set them all. Set this line all to a. To one. Okay. Hopefully this will work. And there we go. Uh, right then. Let's see. How are we going to do this? We might need to move this. Yeah, I think that would be an easier idea if we just move that out to there. Like that. I'm not really fussed if it comes out a bit wider, there'll be a busting anyway, so we'll just place that round like that. Place your torch under there. And then just get rid of that second and that. Let's just stack that all the way along. Oh, it's not working again. Oh, I'll build it by hand, I can't be bothered doing a pause one. With that torch there, be two and nine. And I just come across all the way along and build that same thing. Adding torches under all of these. Um is there an aid? Yeah, I think I should put them in there as well. So do that. And since these are all on at the moment, uh, we don't want the set carry to uh, the carry to one to be on by default. We need to invert these torches and do this just by building this sort of thing. And then just coming out like that. I know you could have just built it by placing another set of torches underneath, but that looks a little bit messy, in my opinion. Right, just redstoneify all of these all the way along to the end, and that won't reach if we uh, if we place our torch there. So we can place our torch like uh, no, nope, let's not do that. That'd be unwise. Let's do that and that. So now we have our set carry one function, and this torch here should affect or should uh, power all the way along to the bottom, and it doesn't. I was off by one. Typical, I tell you, typical. Let's do it across another one like that. Okay, so and now the set carry one is off by default. So nothing is coming through and we want to invert the output. We flick that on and they all come through. So that works very nicely like that. 
So that is effectively our invert out function and that is our XOR function, our cut carry function. Um, I'll leave it at that for the time being and we can do the logic function in the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.